Sunday. For the majority of Italians, it means soccer and, of course, a big lunch with family and friends. There's a big game on tonight. I thought I'd spend some time on my own, going for a quick jog, and, of course, checking out beautiful Florence from the Arno below. This is the famous rowing club of Florence, started in 1911. I thought I'd just splash in and come visit a friend. Seeing Florence from this perspective is so beautiful. The Ponte Vecchio, the Duomo, the beautiful architecture. But what really strikes me is the sweet smell of Sunday cooking. Sunday cooking always reminds me of my mom's kitchen. The sweet smell of her sauce simmering, fresh pasta, espresso in the air, and my dad and I watching Sunday soccer. First thing I'm gonna do is brajol, which means rolled chops. And this recipe always reminds me of my buddy Tony. He's from New York and he comes over and says, hey Rock, are you gonna make that uh, brajol with Sunday gravy? And for some reason, he always calls tomato sauce Sunday gravy. Now, and it's basically a wonderful piece of beef tenderloin. I'm just gonna cut the meat into half inch slices, just a couple of them. Grab some clear wrap. That's about it. And so that's what you get. Now, in different parts in Italy, they make their brujol different. In Rome, they put prosciutto, sage, some Romano cheese. I'm gonna do it my mom's version with some pine nuts, parsley, and raisins. I'm gonna start off with just some parsley and finely chop it. The raisins, toasted pine nuts. I love my pine nuts toasted. A Little bit of salt and pepper. I'm just gonna roll it up, thin side first, and we're rolling it up like jelly rolls. Now, you can use a toothpick or butcher twine. I prefer butcher twine, it holds everything in and then I can just snip it off before serving. And just roll it on both sides to hold everything in. And these little babies aren't going anywhere. Now, this is the easiest part of this recipe. I'm just gonna heat up this pan, add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna add a couple cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna crush it with my hand. It's all the flavors of the garlic. Some chili pepper. Okay, just let it cook. It's getting golden brown. Now I'm gonna place the brujol inside the pan. I'm just gonna sear in all the flavors. Cook it on each side about 30 seconds. Not stir it, just let it get nice and seared. Each side. And then I'm just going to deglaze it because on the bottom of the pan there's all these little bits of flavor and fat and all this wonderful meat. I'm going to deglaze it with a little bit of white wine. Next, this is the tomato sauce or what Tony calls Sunday gravy. It's just a simple tomato puree that I'm just gonna put in. And let it simmer for about an hour, an hour and a half. Some salt to taste. And that's it, Tony's Brajol with gravy. Contorni in Italy means side dish, and it generally accompanies the main part of the meal. Often consists of vegetables, very few ingredients. It's Sunday afternoon, very few stores are open. I'm hoping to find one ingredient. Oh, ciao Enrico, 
buona di nuovo. Senti, hai un po' di vino? Eh, io sono del pensato. Va bene, perché voglio fare il zabaglione. Grazie. Grazie, molto gentile. Dopo te la faccio assaggiare. Sì, promettimelo. Sì, sì. Ah, ciao. ciao. Pasta fresca shops are wonderful places to visit. And usually the only stores open in Italy on Sundays. Maybe that's why Italians love their fresh pasta with their Sunday lunch. For most Italians, not all pastas work well with all sauces. Of course, it all depends on the size, the shape, the texture, and the sauce. The guys are coming over tonight, and I want the perfect noodle for the Sunday gravy. Oh, ciao Massimo. Ciao, Come stai? Bene. This is Massimo, the owner of this wonderful pasta fresca shop. E questi, what's this? Questi sono tortelloni. Ciao, fai? Ecco fai. These are tortelloni, Tor not tortellini, tortelloni, which means big tortellini. Spinach and cheese in this tortellone. Yes. Che salsa, what sauce do you recommend for this? Tartufo, truffle, truffle mushroom, mushroom, cream. truffle sauce. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bene, yeah. okay. <laughs> what tipo di pasta goes well con la salsa di pomodoro? pomodoro. Very simple <clears throat> tomato sauce I made. Give me consiglio, what do, what do you uh, suggest? Fettuccini. Fettuccini, very simple, Fettuccini. excellent. Sì. Three, four minutes. Three, four minutes. Grande Massimo. E buona domenica. Ciao. This contorno is caramelized fennel, slow roast in the oven. Now, a lot of times people are intimidated with this vegetable, not to worry. This dish is very forgiving because it's going into the oven. You don't have to get too fussy with it. Now, I've just given it a quick rinse and I'm just going to cut some of the tough ends. Now, of course, you don't have to get too concerned about this because as it slow roasts in the oven, it becomes caramelized, nice and soft and very tender. Now, I generally like to cut it into eights. The smaller the pieces, the quicker the cooking time. Now, my friends often ask me whether they should discard this kind of furry, leafy uh, part of the fennel. I recommend that you leave it in the dish. It often gives a wonderful licorice scent and flavor. You can also take it off and actually put it as a garnish on the finished dish. Now I have my pot of water that's boiling. There's some salt. I'm just gonna cook the fennel inside the boiling water for about five, seven minutes. Now they're tender to fork. And try and drain as much water as possible. I have my roasting pan. A little hot. Now, by putting it on a separate plate, this will help drain a lot of the water. And it will cook a lot better. Just spread it out. Of course, lots of olive oil. Now, what makes this dish so special is putting fresh grana padano on it. Now, this cheese is a saver. It actually helps every dish. It just elevates the flavor and it, I recommend keeping this around. Generously put it on. Now, the last thing, breadcrumbs.
just sprinkle some on top. Now with the breadcrumbs and the grana padano grated on, it will become nice and brown and caramelized. It actually gives the plate a very pretty look. I have my preheated oven at about 450 degrees. I'm gonna slowly cook it for about 30 minutes. I recommend checking on it because it might be ready in about 25. Italians love their potatoes and I have to admit, I go crazy for them as well. As a contorno, they have them in the oven, roasted, and they're fabulous. La Signora who sold me the potatoes called these patate gialle, which are Italian yellow potatoes. But personally, they're more or less like the Yukon gold potato. The thing is, I love potatoes, so it really doesn't matter which one I use in the oven. If you don't have much time for the oven to leave your potatoes in, just cut them in thin slices, and that will reduce the cooking time significantly. The important thing about this recipe is using fresh herbs. And here in Italy, everyone has like a little herb garden or herb plant where they can go, do a couple of snips and just put into the dish. Now I'm using fresh rosemary and sage. And you can use any type of herb, even parsley or basil, marjoram, would go fine. A little garlic, finely chop it. Quite a bit of extra virgin olive oil. and salt. Often with potatoes, you think you're over salting, but potatoes for some reason seem to absorb the salt and the dish doesn't become salty, just very flavorful. Now I'm gonna put into a hot oven for about 40 minutes or until golden brown. I love this dessert. It's zabaglioni con crema, zabaglioni with whipped cream. Really simple, maybe that's why I love it. This recipe is generally made with Marsala, but I'm gonna substitute it with this Vin Santo, which is the classic dessert wine here in Tuscany. Now this recipe always reminds me of my childhood. My mom would insist that before we went to school, we'd have a shot of Marsala and a beaten egg. Now, for some reason, an eight-year-old kid having a shot of Marsala, I don't know, but it works for an Italian household. Now, generally, what you do is you put one to two yolks per person, tablespoon of sugar, and a tablespoon of Marsala, or the Vin Santo. And we'll put one more. Okay. Right. The sugar. Okay, that's about right. Now, when it comes to alcohol, I don't generally measure. That looks about right. Now, this eventually becomes a very velvety, silky texture, which goes wonderful over fruit, ice cream, or even on its own. Now, I have boiling water. I'm just gonna shut it off, and I'm gonna whisk it over the water. Really important, make make sure that you're always stirring because what's gonna happen if you don't, it's gonna turn into a frittata, an omelet. Mm, it's at that perfect velvety consistency. Hey, oh, that's gotta be Marco. Oh, Chicho. Chicho, you come into the what kitchen with a Rome scarf yeah. and you taste the food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Second part of this recipe, very simple. I'm just gonna whip whipping cream and fold it into the zabaglione. Putting some cream, some 35% whipping cream and some sugar. I'm just gonna whip it up. Did your mom yeah, ever make egg beaten with marsala before every you went morning, to school? Every morning. Every morning. Why I'm here. That's why big strong boy, eh? Why? 
The Roma, Roma, Your team, every morning. To a squad, there should be drinking Marsala and egg. When, when you speak about Roma, please wash your mouth. <laughs> With Vincenzo. With Vincenzo, of course. So the whipping cream is getting nice and whipped. Oh. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna teach you how to fold in the zabaglione sì. con la crema. Sì. And then after I'm gonna give you a lesson on how to play soccer. Ah, Va bene? Okay. 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 If you are sure like you, Juventus. <laughs> Juventus. Uh... It looks good. It looks good. Mm. Now we're gonna just put it inside the fridge and we're gonna let it riposare. Sì. We're gonna let it rest in the fridge for about a half hour, an hour. You know, rest like your team, riposare, no, don't know how to play, and that's it. Come on, let's go to the piazza. Okay. Uh, okay. I was told that my flows wouldn't even make it to you. Right, it's cool. funny how the money makes Why? these people want to screw you in this biz. Never mind all these fools, but oh. even what you got, keep your music oh, feeling what you're all yeah, about. And not what yeah, they tell you that they oh, want you to be yeah. just cause it's selling. Yo, I'm sick of all this dwelling. Rather just be storytelling, talking all about the life we live and keep it on a level. We all can understand instead of fighting all the time. What a world. We keep on looking out for when is ready this mangiare? Pasta, daccia a mangiare. Mmm, the fresh homemade scent of pasta fresca takes no time at all to cook. Cooking time always depends on the thickness of the noodle. You don't play very good soccer, but it's a nice cook. Oh, ma chi non si mangia? David! These fettuccine will take no longer than three to four minutes to cook. Then I'm gonna remove it from the boiling water and cook it inside the simmering sauce so it amalgamates with the sauce and the sauce sticks to the fettuccine. Che ha fatto di buono, non si sa? Buono, buono, buono. Si. Ah, lui. Baby! C'è uno sprint, non hai visto proprio? Vu, no? Oh, hey, David, when is ready this mangiare? Oh, ragazzi, oh, come on. Hey, 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 vai, vai, cantini. Questa è tua. Eh, questa è mia. Ma ah, come? Non ti faccio vedere solo i camerieri, ti avevi detto. <laughs> Buona, eh? Mmm. <laughs> mangiare. Mm. Dica il cantino della qualificazione, ma ovvio, sia i rossoneri che i bianchi azzurri a non tirare il piano. Dai, un brindisi per la partita. Già, forza Juventus. Roma, Roma. Forza Juve. Oh. <laughs> non la devi dire, io che entri. No, no, tutta io. Wow. Oh, wow. Lolino, Lolino. Guys, either this is very, very good or you're very, very hungry. Oh, David, when is ready this mangiare? E vai, ragazzi. Mm. Well, you're a fan. You're okay. I'm okay. You're okay. <laughs> Mark. Just, just for this one, eh? Oh, le, le, oh, la, la, faccio la vede, faccio la duca. Marco, for being a Roma fan, you're okay. You don't know how to play soccer, but you're okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, let's go to the stadium. Yeah. Oh, le, le, oh, 